the new Texas laws on service. Hi, this is consumer protection attorney Bill Clanton. I've helped hundreds of consumers, regular folks like me and you, deal with debt collection harassment, inaccurate credit reporting, and other consumer-related matters. Now, a lot of folks out there get served with lawsuits. There are, especially debt collection lawsuits, I think it's probably the most common type of lawsuit out there. Well over 100,000 of these are filed every year. Um, I've got the no actual numbers in another video. That's not what this video is about. This video is about the changes in service, the rules for service. Now the last rule change in this area of the law was in 1990. And this is the old law for comparison's purpose. Okay, prior law 1990, unless the citation or an order of the court otherwise directs, the citation shall be served by any person authorized by Rule 103. Okay, and, and that person authorized by Rule 103 delivers in person to the defendant a true and correct copy of the citation, okay, or mailing via registered or certified mail a true and correct copy of the citation. Then it makes a provision for alternative service wherein the uh, you file a motion with the court with some evidence attached that they're unable to serve it, and they can uh, leave a true and correct copy with somebody over the age of 16 or any other manner that the affidavit says will be reasonably effective at, at service. This is where you leave it on your doorstep or tape it to your door, things like that. Um, okay, now the new rule 106, new law 2021, effective December 31st, 2020. Okay, so unless the citation or order of the court otherwise directs the citation shall be served by any person and no longer has to be a person authorized by rule 103 so what is rule 103 that mean that is a process server so a process server no longer has to serve a lawsuit they can um, they can hire anybody to serve the lawsuit so the previous standard still applies delivery in person or delivery by certified mail. But again, any person can do it. This is bad news for process servers, but it's also bad news for regular folks getting served with lawsuits. Process servers take a class, they have a bond, they have rules, uh, they're registered with the state, they have rules they have to follow. Now they can just hire anybody to go and serve process. That person is no longer bonded or registered with the state, no longer has any professional duties or, or rules to follow, they can do anything. So it's bad news for process server and it's bad news for regular folks who are getting sued. Now the alternative, um, alternative service is about the same, um, but in any other manner, oh, including social media, email, or other technology, the statement or other evidence that shows it will be reasonably effective getting notice of the suit. So you, yes, you can get served by social media now. If they try to serve you and are unable to, then they can try to serve you by social media with the court's authorization. It's a crazy new world we're entering. Anybody can now serve you with a lawsuit. And if they make a statement saying they can't to the court, then the plaintiff can get authorization to serve you by Facebook or Twitter or other social media. This is a whole new world. So if you think you've been served with a lawsuit, but you're not sure it's effective, then it might very well be. It's important to be on alert for this type of stuff. If you need help fighting one of these lawsuits, give us a call. If you've been sued on an account you don't recognize, Pull your credit report and see if it's on there. There are hundreds of thousands of these lawsuits filed every year, and it doesn't matter if they're if the account's not yours, or if you owe it, or it's ID theft. There's defenses available to all of them. Give us a call. We're happy to talk to you some more. And if you got something out of this video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.